Welcome back to this episode about for each loops. In one of my previous videos about arrays, I've kind of discussed for each loops, but right now I want to go a little bit more in depth about for each loops. A for each loop is used to iterate over array variables. So let me that as a comment, iterate over array variables. Because it's good to remember that on for each loops only works on arrays and objects. And if you try a different data type, the system will return an error message. The way you create a for each loop is by simply writing down for each, followed by a set of parentheses and curly brackets. Inside the parentheses, the first form loops over the given array, which is also called an array expression. On every iteration, the value of the current element that you've got in the array is assigned with the keyword s to a variable called key. You can also rename it, but right now I will call it the key. So let's create an array and set it equal to names. I want to add a couple names inside of my array. First name is John, second name is Michael, and the third name is David. Let me zoom out. All right. Like I said, we need to replace array expression because it's not our array name. So let's replace it with names. Now let me give you a quick tip before we continue on. I said that on each iteration, the value of the current element will be assigned to key. So every time we loop through names, the first name will be assigned to key, second name will be assigned to key, and so on. What I like to do with the variable key is to name it something which is related to the array name. So we've got one big box, which is called names, and we have small boxes inside of it. John is a box, Michael is a box, David is a box. And they all have one specific name inside of it. And because we want to iterate through the names, I want to replace my key with name. Because every time we iterate, we just get one name value. So let's echo out name. And let's add a break. Save it. Refresh the browser. And you can see that all the names in our array are printed out. Well, let's add some text right in front of it to make it more beautiful. And let's say my name is not M and M, but let's concatenate it. And you can see that my name is John, Michael, and David, which is not true. The same thing can be done with associative arrays. So let's create a new array called person and set it equal to array. And in case you've forgotten, an associative array has a key and a value. So let's say that my name is Dari, I'm 30 years old, and I'm a male. These three values inside our array are actually called values, and we want to assign it to a key. So for my name, I want to create a key which is called name and set it equal to my name with an equal greater than sign. And for my age as well, I want to say that my age is equal to 30. And I want to say that my gender is equal to male. So let's go right below our array. Let me actually place my person's array below the for each. And let's create another for each loop. So we want to iterate through our person array as key. And we want to associate it with the value just like we did before. Our key is name and our value is Dari and so on. So what we want to do is to echo out our key and we want to concatenate it with a colon and with our value. And let's also add a break. Save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that my name is equal to Dari, age is equal to 30, which is not true, and my gender is equal to male. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.